Okay, next we have here the platelet shedding or the, you call it was the thrombocytopoiesis. Okay, so the platelet shedding here is a process whereby your, the cytoplasm of your megacarocyte try to shed and eventually become an individual platelets, which is then further being released being released to your peripheral circulation in order for that to circulate as your platelets. So we have here um, the processes that happens during your thrombocytopoiesis. First one, we have your demarcation system dilates. We have also your longitudinal tubules, bundles of tubules here try to form. And we have also here your transverse constriction throughout your platelet process try to produce. And eventually, each of your cytoplasm of your megacarocyte try to be shed off as an individual platelets, and that would eventually be produced as a form of your string, para siyang pro platelet process or string or beads. So kaya tama ka recite mo mag divide na ito magiging individual platelet na ito, tapos magperform sila na maganyan. Those are your pro platelet process. So it will describe here parang string of uh, beads of string, string or beads, string, beads of string, which eventually being released here to your peripheral circulation, which become an individual platelets. Okay, so if all the cytoplasm of your megacarocyte has been shed already, it would leave your megacarocyte naked. Kasi wala nang lahat ng cytoplasm niya. And that's when the megacarocyte will be seen here by, or when the naked na megacarocyte has been seen here by the, the macrophages, it will be consumed. And eventually, mamamatay na siya after it try to shed approximately 2,000 to 4,000 platelets. Okay, then we have here the different hormones and cytokines which are considered to be the growth factors for the differentiation, maturation of your megacarocytes from the stem cells. The first one, we have here your TPO, your thrombopoietin. Thrombopoietin is primarily produced by our kidneys, but it's being produced as well here by your liver and even your smooth muscle cells. The concentration of your megacarocytes as uh, correlated here with the number of the platelets, peripheral circulation is inversely proportional. In such a way na pag madami tayong platelets in your peripheral circulation, dapat you should have your decrease lang din na uh, megacarocyte to prevent na dadami sobrang ating platelets. On the other hand, if you have your decrease na platelet count in your peripheral circulation, like in the case of your dengue, wala ka masyadong platelets, so dapat it would further activate more here, the megacarocyte differentiation and maturation para the daming ating platelet count in your peripheral circulation. That's why they, they are having that inversely proportional relationship. Okay, so the main function of your TPO, first, to try to induce here the stem cell to develop here to become your uh, committed, um, lineage committed, lineage committed progenitor cells. Your TP also try to induce here your megacarocyte to develop here to become your okay, your uh, terminal differentiation stage. From your progenitor, magiging megacarocyte and further shedding here the platelets to your peripheral circulation. Okay, then we have others. We have also other here growth factor which also help here in the differentiation of your um, megacarocytes. So we have interleukin-3. So this is uh, try to adhere synergistically with the TPO. In terms of the differentiation, maturation, the megacarocyte, only that most likely that one try to act on the earlier stages of the maturation. Interleukin-6 and 11 that the hand try to act here on the latter stages of the maturation. Interleukin-11, you call this one as your new mega. So this is a very helpful here basically to increase the platelet production for this patient undergoing chemotherapy. Remember, in a, in, uh, if the patient is undergoing chemotherapy, the chemotherapeutic procedure uh, tend to destroy all the blood cells in our body, including the normal, not only your cancer cells, but as well as your normal cells, including your blood cells. So this interleukin 11 could help here increase the platelet production for those that's been affected by the chemotherapeutic agents. 
Then we have also here other factors that helps in the maturation, the fixation. We have your stem cell, kit ligand factor, granulocyte, monocyte, colony stimulating factor, granulocyte, colony stimulating factor, and we have your erythropoietin. On the other hand, the following here would try to inhibit your megakaryocyte differentiation. So first one, we have here your platelet factor 4, beta thromboglobulin, NAP2, neutrophil activation peptide 2, and we have also here your interleukin 8. Okay, and lastly, we have here the different cytokines with their respective uh, stages where they tend to help here in the maturation and differentiation of your megakaryocytes. TPO would eventually be present here in the differentiation to your, from your stem cell differentiation, differentiating it that one to become your progenitors. Then the progenitor differentiating that one to become your megakaryocyte. And we have here late maturation series, but not much in the thrombocytopoiesis. Interleukin-3 is only here the first two stages. Interleukin-6 on the last two stages. Interleukin-11 and the last three, but not on the earliest stage. Okay, so that's the end of this topic. Okay, thank you.